King John gets a message from Philip, King of France, to concede Brother Arthur should reign. If he will not concede, he should quickly brace for war, for the French plan their land to reclaim. But two queens both go nuts, and they call each other sluts, trading insults like two drunken men. But they stop short, ready to draw their swords, and see who will win. Then enters a bastard, that's what he calls himself, who admits that Robert's his name. Learns his real dad was Richard, the lion-hearted king, so he's floored by his real father's fame. Trades his lands for a knighthood and swears to serve King John. Lady Falconbridge, his mom is really sore, but she stops short, knowing her son now knows she was just a whore. How quickly the royalty tick tock tick. Talk changes its loyalty, tick tock, tick tock, a war or wedding between two clans brings a new crowned king. In Angiers the people see a way to stop the war and propose that John's niece, Lady Blanche, should marry King Philip's son, Louis the Dauphin, joining reigns of both England and France. Then the Pope intervenes, and he muddles up the scene, causing turmoil where none was before. But he stops short, leaving the French and English to fight some more. Arthur's dead. No, he's not. He's alive and well. But then, accidentally, he fell and he died. Then the French have advantage, but most are lost at sea, like the English who drowned in a tide. King John's life is sunk when he's poisoned by a monk. Louis' treaty calls the war to a halt. King John dies, and Henry his son is named King by default. How quickly the royalty tick-tock tick. -tock, tick. Talk changes its loyalty, tick tock, tick tock, a war, or wedding between two clans brings a new crown.